and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, my setup for filming here has changed just a little bit because as this sign says, tis the season to be spooky. Spooky season is officially here. Well, technically it started July 5th, but the stores are finally starting to recognize that it is in fact spooky season and we are inching our way closer to Halloween, the greatest holiday of the year. You cannot convince me otherwise, you Christmas lovers. I'm sorry, Halloween's just better, okay? I will never not believe it. But anyway, I am so excited to finally start seeing Halloween decorations filling up the shelves. And of course, once I learned that Halloween decorations were going out, I was immediately either shopping online or in the stores for all of the new stuff. This year, my theme for decorating is Hocus Pocus. Yes, just like the movie. And I am planning on turning my home into the Sanderson Sisters cottage. I can't wait. I'm so excited for it. And I am very excited to also share with you guys everything that I've picked up so far to help make that Halloween decorating dream become a reality. So without further ado, come we fly to my Halloween decoration decor haul. <laughs> This is a Halloween decor haul, but when I was at Home Goods buying all of my Halloween decorations, spending $300 on Halloween decorations, no regrets at all. I also did pick up a couple of things that were not Halloween at all, um, just like normal summerish kind of stuff that was on clearance, so I want to share those with you guys really quick. And then it's all spooky stuff, I promise. So first I have these really adorable kind of jungle print. Uh, outdoor pillows and they were on clearance for um, $16 they were like half off and I just thought that these would look really cute on my back patio for next summer so I went ahead and picked them up because they're definitely in my theme and then I also grabbed this oh as it hits me in the face awesome like welcome mat thing it's got all of the hanging plants I just thought it was way too cute to leave behind. It wasn't on clearance, but you know, the hanging plants, they got me. Okay, I couldn't leave it behind when I saw it. And again, I think it'll look really nice on my back patio. So, had to grab that as well. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four big giant home goods bags here full of Halloween decorations. So. That's all gonna be totally random. I'm not gonna like categorize these or anything. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we're not going that far. But I did pick up a whole bunch of Halloween towels. So I got these orange ones with the black witches on them. I thought these were so stinking cute. They were um, $12.99. So I think these will look really good in the kitchen or the bathroom. And then keeping up with the Hocus Pocus theme, I also got this, the old Salem Broom Company. Here's a better look at it on this side. Again, I thought that these were really cute. Also comes in a pack of two. They were only $5.99, so like, duh, had to add that to the cart. And then I also picked up these orange and black ones that just have like a whole bunch of kind of like witchy um, prints on them. And they were $9.99, so absolutely loved all of those excited to add them into my decor for the kitchen and the bathroom oh i also got these ones as well just because like the little black cat it made me think of binks and old well, thackeray binks you know and i couldn't leave him behind i thought it matched the hocus pocus name pretty well also and it was 5.99 so um also for the kitchen this doesn't fit with the theme for this year but i it's gonna be okay because these are gonna be in the drawer for most of the time and I just thought that they were really cool and they're the style that I like the best. Nightmare Before Christmas oven mitts. I freaking love these so much and like I said they're the kind I like where you just stick your hand in them and then kind of have like a puppet effect. <laughs> and you can just like grab things so much easier. I freaking love these and they're so cool. They got Jack and Sally on them and the iconic scene right there. 
so they were $5.99 as well so again pretty good deal I thought okay so for some witchy things I think I'm planning on putting these on the entryway table maybe or maybe in the kitchen I haven't decided where everything's going yet I just know that I want these things somewhere in the house so I grabbed a couple of these um, book like storage book things so you can put stuff on the inside if you want but um, I probably won't <laughs> they'll just be there for show I just thought these were pretty cool um, this one is the witch's handbook so and then it just has like this design on it very like old school Halloween and witchy stuff which I thought was pretty unique I'm not like a super huge fan of the design on the front but the spine is what you're gonna see um, is most likely what you're gonna be seeing in my decorating so I just like that it said witch's handbook I thought that was something that the Sanderson sisters probably had lying around somewhere and then also grab the spells book as well the book of spells and so yeah. this little one was $9.99 and the bigger one was $12.99 I just thought that they'd look really cool sitting together and I'll probably add in some of the other like books and potions and things like that that I already have so create a nice little scene that way next I have a couple of like more breakable items and I could not leave this behind. I freaking love this and honestly I'm kind of contemplating like leaving it up all year round somewhere because I think it's so stinking cool. And if uh, my house was more, um, was like less jungle and more like gothic style decor, this would definitely be staying up but I might just have to put this in the office somewhere <laughs> whatever in the bedroom. But dude, look at how stinking cool this is it's got a stacked skull with the snake coming up around the skulls like i think that this is so stinking cool i love the colors i love the design i love everything about this piece so much and i think it fits pretty well with the witch decor witch um theme as well so definitely was not gonna leave it behind it was 14.99 so stinking cool. This exactly fits the Hocus Pocus theme. I couldn't leave it behind at all. It says Broom Squad on it. It has the Sanderson sisters, you know, kind of like hairstyles and stuff. And it's like a little kind of like cookie jar or whatever you want to put into it. And then I think it has, I think the top of it is maybe supposed to be like a sleeping cat. So that looks like Binks. I don't know if that's that's what I'm thinking maybe but I mean clearly it does not look like that but I think that's maybe what they were trying to go for there oh yeah maybe I don't know does that look maybe a little bit more like a cat from that angle I don't know I think so this is the back of it I don't love this design of the Sanderson sisters. I've been seeing it on a lot of the new stuff that's coming out for the Hocus Pocus 2 movie. I just, I'm not a fan. I think that they look a little bit too different. I mean, they look, they look more witchy. I'll give it that, like how you would think a witch is supposed to look like kind of ugly and just like scary. But that's not the Sanderson sisters that I grew up with, you know? So it just kind of throws me a little bit, but yeah, I don't know. I still thought it was pretty cute. I'm probably going to leave this side out where people can see it um, for the decorating, but still. I have no idea what I'm going to put in it, but too cool to leave behind, that's for sure. And too on brand. Too on point, for sure. The minute I saw this pillow, I knew that I needed to have it and there was no way that I was going to leave without it, for sure. Look at how awesome this is. It's like a sweater pillow and I love it so much. Like I love the skulls, the spiders, um, the little pumpkins on it. I love the colors. It just screams Halloween and like, it's so soft too. It's so soft and squishy and fluffy and I just needed it in my life. And I honestly think that I might put this in the egg chair if it doesn't go on my bed this year. But it was $24.99 so it was a little bit more expensive and that's more than I would typically spend for a pillow. But um, how could I leave this behind? <laughs> then I also picked up this pillow. 
It says Hocus Pocus on it, so of course it's right on point again with the theme for this year. I really like the witch's feet in the middle. Like this is a Ray Dunn pillow and usually Ray Dunn stuff is like really simple, which this is. It's still simple and stuff like that, but typically it's like just the writing. I like how they added in like the witch's feet in the middle of it. I think that that's a nice little touch. And I also like the white detailing around the edges. I just, I think it's so cool and this is gonna look amazing on my couch until it gets covered in cat hair and then it won't look as cute but <laughs> i will just be meticulously lint rolling the crap out of this pillow i just i freaking love it this was 16.99 i just yeah absolutely perfect this has nothing to do with hocus pocus or witches or anything like that but i had to have it and i don't know if i'm gonna put it out for halloween this year or not i'm gonna save it for another year be just because like it doesn't really fit with the theme and like wanting to turn the house into a cottage like a witch's cottage but i don't know how i could have walked away from this because it's so perfect it's a bath mat and it's black with orange lettering it says happy halloween I am obsessed with this. Oh my god, I freaking love this so much. And it's like so soft. I love it. I love it. I was not gonna leave it. I couldn't leave it. I could not. This is also from Ray Dunn. It was $16.99. And if I do put it up, I think I'm gonna put it into the second bathroom because that one's not typically used as frequently. So like I think I can make it work where you know, even though it's not like hocus pocus or witchy, it'll still be fine. You know, it's still Halloween, right? I don't know. I'm gonna find a place for it. Next up, we have this another stack skull piece. It's all black, but there's something super unique about it that I want to show you guys. Ah, look at it! Ah, look into its eyes. <laughs> Look deep into its eyes. You're feeling very sleepy. <laughs> um, yeah, so it lights up. Just the top little guy lights up, but I thought that it was still really, really cool. And I like that it lights up because my house is going to be running pretty dark, mostly. It's going to be lit up by things like this, little candles and whatever, just to give it the nice spooky vibe. So I um, am definitely excited to have another little light up piece. Not excited for the batteries that it's going to inevitably need because batteries are expensive and this looks like it's one of those like C-type batteries, like one of the funky ones that's not very common, but oh well, you know, the things I do for Halloween. <laughs> uh, this was $14.99. Okay, these last few things are going to get glitter absolutely everywhere, which I'm not excited about. So, I picked up this orange um, broomstick and it does have the ability to light up. Let me see if this little thing says, yeah, look at that. Okay, so you can't really see it too well, but it does have these orange um, string lights that are going all around the bottom of the broom there. So I think I'm gonna have this set up by my front door, by the entryway table, just kind of like leaning up against it. As I was walking through the checkout line, I just spotted it out of the corner of my eye in the checkout aisle, and I'm like, grabbed it, and just kept on walking. Didn't even look to see the price or anything like that. I just knew that I needed to take it. And so this was $24.99, which is a little kind of expensive for everyone, but it does light up, so that makes it better, right? Um. But anyway, yeah, I just thought it was really cool. And I actually like that it's orange. The last things that I got from Home Goods for Halloween so far, so far, are these little spindly trees. Um, they also light up. I got two of them, that's why I keep saying they. I just don't want to bring both of them out because there's going to be glitter like everywhere. Um, but they light up and they have orange lights which is honestly what sold me on them because I already have some of these little spindly trees that I got from Target and I can get more from Target that are like cheaper than this because I think yeah, these were $25 a piece so I paid $50 for these trees. No regrets. <laughs> but 
the orange lights and stuff that are on them, it honestly is what's only. And granted, I could probably have done that myself with just some string lights, but this is easier. And I like it a lot, so yeah. very exciting there's just so much so I absolutely love them um, both of the trees and the broom are actually from Martha Stewart collection which surprised me I didn't expect to see her have such cool um, Halloween decor but apparently she does so very exciting all of the glitter <laughs> okay, so uh, I moved out into the living room because I didn't want to drag the big boxes back into the office. I just didn't have space back there for them, and I'm also lazy. So, I'm going to do the final unboxings here in the living room. I apologize if it's a little bit echoey, but anyway, yeah. So, if you thought that, that was it for the Halloween decor haul, it is not. I got more treats for you, promise no tricks, just some really great Halloween decor. So, in addition to home goods, I also did a little bit of shopping at Home Depot and Spirit Halloween. I did the shopping for both of these places online and not in person, because I don't think that there's any Spirit Halloween stores actually open right now, or yet. Um, so yeah, that's how I was able to get some stuff from them. And if you are doing any like Hocus Pocus themes or decorating this year, Spirit Halloween is where you need to go because they have so much Hocus Pocus decor. It's insane. I had to like really utilize self-control while I was scrolling through everything that they had on the ha on the Spirit Halloween website because there was just so much that I wanted and it was so amazing. And the cats are trying to um, cause more chaos per usual, but anyway. Uh, let's do the Home Depot stuff first. So, get these big boxes here. These um, yard stakes that are witches brooms. How cool. So I got them in black and then I also got them in orange, which I'll unbox here in a second, but they do light up. I didn't know that they had this like feather boa stuff going on there around the around the broom. Not really a fan of that, so might try and take that off, but otherwise they're just like sparkly glitter, plug in witches brooms, and they have, like I said, the stakes in the bottom so you can stick them in the yard. I plan on putting these in my like along my walkway my sidewalk up to my front door so i think that that'll look pretty cool okay so i guess they're both black the brooms are black okay this that's what it is so these ones these brooms that are in my hand with the little purple purple feather boas around them have orange lights that um that light up when they get plugged in which I'll insert a clip of them lit up so that you can see with the lights on. The ones that have the orange bows on them have purple lights. That's the difference. Okay, so here's a look at the witch's brooms all lit up. The witch broom yard snakes. Biggie, what do you think? Do you like them? I like them. I think that they're going to look really good. So these are the ones with the orange lights. And then here's the ones with the purple lights. Honestly, I gotta say, I like the ones with the orange lights a lot better. But, yeah. I think they're gonna look good. Gotta check out everything. Do you like the brooms? You better not chew on them. So, next is the set that I got from Spirit Halloween. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little bit of a secret, my little decorating secret. So in my front yard, I am planning on making a cemetery. It's gonna be Old Burial Hill Cemetery. 
My cat literally just fell into the spirit Halloween box. Okay, so Old Burial Hill Cemetery is going to be my front yard, and I want there to be a Billy Butcherson grave. Like, that's my plan. I want him to be coming up out of the ground, just like in the movie, with his grave and everything. So, I picked up this tombstone that says on it, Here lies ye body of M. William Butcherson, died 1st of May, 1693, lost soul. Just like from in the movie, and it's like an actual, like, heavy duty tombstone which I appreciate because I feel like sometimes these tombstones they get pretty flimsy especially like the carver ones or whatever and they just blow away in the Kansas wind never to be seen again and I didn't want that to happen with this one so very excited to have this set up in front of Billy's or I guess in the back of Billy's grave and then to make Billy. I already have some PVC pipe um, people, mannequins, that I made two years ago? Last year. I don't remember. I made them. So it's like PVC people or like frames, body frames that you can like move and things like that. So for the head of Billy, I have Billy, his head. <laughs> And um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to attach this to the frame, but I'm gonna make it work because I really want to have Billy coming up out of the ground and bro, we need to like brush your hair, hunty. Anyway, yeah, I'm really excited. Ah, look at this. <laughs> so cool, but yeah. I actually think that this was is made to be like hanging like that yeah it's a hanging head so I don't know I'll figure out how to attach it somehow but very excited okay so I think that's gonna do it for my first Halloween decor haul of spooky season more will be coming like I can I can promise you that more is, is definitely coming because I have no self-control when it comes to Halloween decorations so this is not going to be the last of the Halloween decor haul. I also plan on putting out some videos of me decorating my house for Halloween so if you want to see how I do that again it's a hocus pocus theme so if you're interested be sure to um, come back and check those out. In fact, you could go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell so that way when I do post those videos, you'll be notified of it and you won't miss out on any of the upcoming spooky season Halloween content because there's a lot coming. It's all coming. It's my favorite time of year and I cannot wait. <laughs> I am so excited that it's here. You excited, Billy? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're excited. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, Bill, I'm gonna put you down over here for a second. So, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite piece from this Halloween decor haul was and also what your Halloween theme is for this year. I'd love to know how you guys are planning on decorating. That's all I got for you guys today, though. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful, spooky day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!